Hey there, YouTubers. Debunkified here. Alright, in this video, what I've done here, so separated the circuitry into two separate parts here, okay, so you can see more clearly uh, what's going on. Uh, there's two address, there's two issues I want to address here. The first one is, it would be easy to think that there's two circuits in here running off one power source, and if you were to take one circuit and completely load it down onto a meter, which is like the biggest possible load you can put on it, uh, there's, since there's no resistance right here, you, you would be pulling the voltage all the way down to zero, pretty much, while the current would be very, very high, uh, which is not what you want to do, uh, especially during a load resistor test. Well, we have resistance right here, and we got resistance right here. It's no, something you normally don't want to do, okay, but if somebody were to do that, and just basically short it directly across the meter, You'd be pulling that voltage all the way down, and the current would be very high. Meanwhile, the other circuit connected to the same power source, if that was completely unloaded and you were just reading the voltage, okay, then the voltage would stay nice and high. And so by the time you multiplied that nice and high voltage with a nice and high current, you'll probably get an overunity reading. Well, that's like taking two batteries, loading one completely down on a meter, and killing the battery, and then like having another battery that you're not loading down, and you're just reading the voltage, and then saying that's over unity. Well, okay, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that in any way at all. Uh, the second issue I want to address is that this circuitry is not going to charge its own power source. If this was a battery or whatever it's not gonna do that um, because it's not set up this demonstration is not set up to do that it's set up to show just basic simple over unity measurements and how there's more work done through this system right here uh, which is equivalent to energy than the energy going in which is shown on meters that's the sole purpose and intention of this whole demonstration, not the run itself. That requires a uh, different kind of circuitry. So this is just a show, <coughs> excuse me, basic simple uh, over unity measurements. And that is it. Uh, so I have a power source right here. Um, also, we got our input over here, okay? So we got the negative right there. It goes through one side of the meter and out the other side to the negative of our input device right here and the positive runs right here runs through our uh, right into our positive of our device right here so that's the input turn this back on before they shut off okay so uh i'm measuring voltage right here this is an output voltage and this is what's going to be powering this entire thing these two things are together now I guess you could say there's a third issue I want to address uh, most people would consider this a load which it is because you know it's just LED lights it could be a motor uh, it could be anything really that's your com traditional load now there may be some others out there who don't consider this a load, but I consider it a load because it's receiving power and there's work being done and energy flowing through it as well as this. If you were to just read the voltage across this load and the current running through it, you'll see that it's under unity and you always get under unity uh, looking at it in that way or from that perspective but I consider this a load so the show that I'm not I don't have two separate outputs here I only have one output here's the voltage let's 
turn it on. And now you'll see we got 12.07 volts right here, sitting here, just sitting here. And this I considered one whole system. Here's one side of the system and here's the other side of the system. And so basically these two things are in series. This is one side, it goes to one side of uh, our circuitry here, while the other side goes through one side of the meter, the read current comes out the other side of the meter, and through one side of our load, our typical load, the other side of the load, and goes back to positive. So, that's to show that this voltage is powering this entire thing right here. Okay, and there's current coming directly out of that voltage source. Um, I don't have the meter on this side. I have it on this side, the load. Which, I don't think it matters. It's going to be the same thing. Okay. So uh, let's connect that up. Here, one side. Here's the other side. Voltage sitting right there. Um. Okay. And there's one other connection. I have to make it correctly and that is right here and this one is over here and anywhere on this side would be appropriate for this so all right there's the light so lots of power running through there as well as through here this is just one voltage source it starts from the negative goes through so if you look over here, we have 575 milliamps, or 0.575 amps. Over here we have 0.476 amps. The output voltage is 11.70 volts. And since I only have two hands, let's see if we can do this. We're going to measure the input voltage. So the sole intention of this entire uh, circuit is to show that the output right here is connected to one system. I consider this circuitry and this half of the system to be a load because we've got negative coming out going through uh, and through the meter to show current uh, and through our load show light back to the positive there's only one voltage source sitting here and that's uh, at a drop from 12 point I think it was 10 volts down to 11.70 volts on the output and input current All right so that's what I, I really just wanted to show you guys uh, right now uh, this is just the sole intention of this circuit is to show basic simple over unity measurements there is more work and work being done which is equivalent to energy in this system right here than what's going in this uh, input power over here or energy more energy out than in so uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.